welcome back to the channel. We have been busy. We're here at HPR Automotive in Henderson, Tennessee. As always, links down below for shop information. We have the 2022 Mustang GT here under the knife. Finally, we are doing the blower install, ESS supercharger. But before we do that, we're getting things wrapped up with new oil pump gears and crank sprocket from Boundary. Just to be safe, but guys, if you remember, Way back when, about a year, year and a half ago, we had in this shop, HBR had the first confirmed ESS kit on a Mach 1, yours truly. But, you know, here we are with a whole different car. We're doing a little bit of a different recipe, a little bit different. We're doing a G3X with a G4 intercooler with a little bit of a color change to the kit. And it's gonna look spicy and it's gonna go fast. We're here with Ken over here working and Chris. Guys, this is a shop. I don't care if you live in California, you gotta to drive to Tennessee. Guys, it's worth it. This is where you wanna be if you're gonna boost your Mustang. Sky's the limit as far as the build goes. They will be able to take care of you. So, over here, Ken is hard at work doing some oil pump gears, but we have an open Gen 3 Coyote and a 2022 Ford Mustang GT. And we have all of our parts over here. G3X kit with the G4 intercooler. We've been advertising on the channel for the past little while, but it is here, it is time, it is now. Today is the day that all of this is going on this car. It's getting boosted, let's go. All right, what we do here, guys, is if you get the oil pump gears in, it'll tell you the maximum tip clearance, body clearance there. And basically, you're just gonna you're just gonna check everything. So that's what we're doing now. We're just verifying that everything is like it's supposed to be. I just go through and test it, check it, make sure we got three thousand filler gauge here, and then I go tip to tip right here, and I go through here and I check it, and make sure it's good to go there. What you want to make sure is when you're doing this, yeah, you want to make sure that this is below this. Yeah, it you don't rise want, above. You don't want this oil pump gear. It'll to bind above. up and scrape. Exactly. Yep. And then, of course, we use a new housing. Yes. Uh, you can use the old housing. We just choose to use a brand new housing. There's it's kind of like oil pump gears in general, just better safe than yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. And the reason for this, guys, is I'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit here, is what Boundary discovered is this right here, when you put a brand new housing on, these pads fit tight up on the crank. But when you first start the car, it clearances them a little bit. And mm -hmm. what that'll do is, is when you're putting it back on, it, you can actually get it a little off here and there and this is Gerardo type gear So if you get this off just a thousandth or whatever You can actually make this because this rides on the crank this rides in the oil pump on the in the oil pump housing, It'll right? Bind in the gear. You, yeah, exactly. You can cause you can cause wear right there. Yep. So now that all our measurements are taken we can go ahead and Pull these back out and use the, the lubrication the boundary lubrication lube it all up uh, Put a little oil in it put it back together torque it down and then be ready to put it on the car. Oh, by the way, uh, we are now working with HPR to bring you guys money savings, discounts. Go check out hprautomotive.com, links down below. Use promo code Xander13 at checkout to save some money. We're, we're building the website. We're building the website, I'm, he's a busy I'm, man. I'm building the website, I'm not farming it out to anybody, so it's slow. If you do not see it on the website, click the link, send me what you want, I will get you a quote together. Just put Xander 13 in that in that comment, and I'll give you the discount discount off part that you would get from the website. But we're slowly getting everything up on there. Uh, we're dealing for pretty much everything, everything. but we're slowly getting everything. it built. But guys, uh, hit us up there, and then uh, we'll take care of you. Also, if you want a quote for installation, hit us up there at Austin. Yep. Well. So ESS kits, you can hit up Ken. You can also hit up sales at ESSTuning.com. But just go through Ken, and he's got some really sick and not expensive compared to some other shops insulation packages on boost but remember it's being updated daily but anything under the sun car related performance related parts make sure the email can and he'll hook you up saving you guys some money so you can mod more <laughs> listen yeah <laughs> i tried to crush that pizza last night it just i got halfway in I mean, it was, you were, it was you, dude. You were was, you wanted, You said I want a large by myself. I'll take. Well, I, usually I thought it was gonna be like a little Caesar or something yeah. like that, right? But no, yeah. nothing was no, like no, that no, thick. No, 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 no. We don't get the little, little thin crust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was a man's pizza. Really? Man's pizza. <laughs> Are you sure you guys got tape for him? Listen, Dad bod going hard right now. Hey, uh, well, hold on, Ken. Hey, one thing I also <laughs> want to talk about. <laughs> one thing I also want to talk about, guys. Yeah. When you're, when you're putting these in, also make sure to use clean gloves. Very, very clean environment. You don't want any grit to get in there. But also. You take these and you put them in. You shouldn't have to force them in. They see in. how that slid right in. On the Gen 2 and Gen 3s, we typically do not see failure unless you're on the two-step, mm -hmm. revving, revving really high on big power, or you're hitting, you're bouncing off the rev limiter. 
typically we do not see the problems. Now, if you're going 900,000 horsepower, it's a totally different world. But yep. I'm talking seven, 800 horsepower. We typically don't see it. But what I tell my customers is I don't force any of my customers to do this. I basically give them their information and tell them the majority of the time they're probably going to be okay, but I cannot guarantee. It's insurance. I don't want I don't want them going down the road and be like, "Well, Ken, you said I'd be fine, and, and they got to set up Listen, goal listen, kids. Ken said it was okay. Yeah, that, that's their thing. That Ken said it was okay. <laughs> but what I tell them is, it's like car insurance. Mm -hmm. If you don't put them in, it saves you a little money. But if they do break, it costs you a lot of money down the road. Harmonics and stuff like that is the force that gets put on that it, it ends up breaking them. I've had more issues, honestly, out of crank sprockets. Crank sprockets scare me. Right there. Right there. We went to put oil pump gears in his car and his crank sprocket was cracked. The, and we hadn't done any work on his car. He just bought the car mm -hmm. and he was driving around and it shut down on him. Come to find out the crank sprocket broke. And when it broke, the pistons and valves and everything had a meeting. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. New oil pump going on. sealed back up so big shout out again to hpr staff here we added a little bit of engine flare here so i know ken is like whatever dude but i think it looks cool man so it's, gt it's wings it, <laughs> listen a little bit of shelby flare kind of a throwback to what i had before honestly that's the mach 1 though yeah it was yes yeah, so mach 1 gt350 gets these factory yep. it's really good i think it will tie together i know i'm being a cheesy kid but it will tie together with some of the other blue that we have in the car and once we see it all back together it'll make sense but anyway it is time it is time finally now for the main show ess supercharger guys let's rock and roll through this so we're gonna breeze to it no secrets guys they come with instructions if you want to diy this in your garage you can if you want to bring it to a reputable shop i recommend hpr as always but uh anyway so Let's uh, rock and roll with it, and I know that you guys care more about the uh, the after show here with the main startup and the data logging and the first pools and all that, so that's going to be coming in this video, some of it. Let's get to installing our G4 intercooler and in combination with our G3X ESS. Let's go. So we got the G4 cooler installed, and it is huge and this thing is massive so this one is about 30 percent bigger or so compared to the g3 intercoolers this is definitely going to carry us into the power band we start pulling down later on we do fuel system and all of that so this is a highly recommended upgrade and it's not that much more money whenever you're piecing your kit together but now it is time to rock and roll with the rest of the install guys well, let's go Correct. So that's so that'll fit three. We can go ahead and ten rib this thing real quick. Sometimes you gently gotta pull. Yeah. Sometimes you gently gotta pull this back yep. just a little bit, give you a little room. Doesn't hurt anything. Yep. Caught. There we go. Just gotta weave a little. Yep. There it goes. Just like that. Now I don't get way back here to get leverage. I go right here with my hand right here. Yep. So I can feel where it's at. You get too much. You can get too much leverage. It'll snap it. Yep. Yep. You just gotta feel it. The very first one we installed was on your Mach 1. We were the first shop to install one on a Mach 1. I actually used the first person to get a Mach get one on a Mach 1 period. We had to get some parts from them. Yep. But since I've done that, I've installed several Mach 1s and Mustangs, and you steadily see the kit evolving. evolving. A bit. 
of all the yeah, this this whole bracket that right there is changed now yeah that actually is that's revision five that's aluminum we got that one in there i think it took about five weeks to get that one in and it's got the, it's got the new bracket yeah uh, it's got the new bracket and then i've got another one that we ordered we've done a ton of these since your car So guys, you do not have to cut this. You just basically shove this edge of the silicone down far. So like you were talking about. So if you have any kinks over here, you're doing it wrong, basically. You should not be cutting anything on this kit. It's designed to fit no, just it, like it, it does. Fine. You might, yep. If you're not fitting here right, right here, what I found is just, just move it, position it on this right here differently and it'll take it'll take it out it'll yep. take the bend out yep oh my goodness it's that time we are tuning we're installed we've got that wingard performance tune going in really zoomed in zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out there we go guys we are installed getting the tune loaded up right now but everything is pretty much at the point where we could start this up so big big moment right now guys we have the kit looking fresh we got the new headlights look <laughs> look at those look really good what do you think of it you like this i actually do they're bright they're super bright this is how everything has come together so hpr has done a really good job we added a little check valve here from upr in line with our course of catch can and then that way we can tie up everything with the PCV system, kind of like factory, but, uh, and then little touches like this from the shop here. So really, really cool to see all this done. Really clean build. Massive, like attention to detail has gone into this big, this build. So again, huge shout out to HPR guys. Check them out in the video description, but it is time for the first start. As soon as this thing is loaded up, we're good to go. We're going to get this thing cranked up and then we're going to be doing some tuning. We're going to be doing some data logging, making sure everything is good to go with Winger Performance. Oh, I mean, yeah, the factory finish definitely fits. I mean, so guys, remember, go to hprautomotive.com, okay, or email ken at hprautomotive.com, and any parts that you guys want for your Mustang, if it's not on his website, he can get it. It doesn't matter. Just send him an email. Let him know that Xander 13 sent you, and you're going to save some money. More money you can save, more money you can mod, and that's what we're here to do is help you build your Mustang. So much stuff now, and also through our other vendors. We can get access to just about anything and everything. We've got parts for other people's cars also. Tires, wheels, Mickey Thompson, weld wheels. Single turbo kits, twin turbo kits, VMP, who who else is on the board? So Pro Charger, Whipple, ESS, Vortec, Paxton, guys, Boost, uh, Turbo 400s. You guys have done some pretty amazing builds in this shop, in this bay right here, yep. that are out there just wrecking other people on the drag strips. And what's the count now? 17 or 18 states? 17 states. Far west is New Mexico, and New far York. east is New York. Yeah, so definitely worth your trip. And it's time. First and then start. All right. Let's cross our fingers. Right again. Here we go. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sounding good. All right, so we're gonna let this thing idle for five minutes, and then we're gonna recheck the fluid level in the supercharger, make sure that it is topped off and good to go. 